Methodist preacher Charles Albert Tinley is credited with writing lyrics in 1901 that are now part of one of the most famous songs in American history. Blacks and whites and Jews and Catholics all stood across this country in the 60s singing, We Shall Overcome, and not even understanding that the universal language they were singing came from a man who built the church right here on Broad Street in Philadelphia. Wow. Now, if you want to talk about being proud to be Methodist, that's a reason to be proud to be Methodist. The Reverend Robert Johnson is the pastor of Philadelphia's Tenley Temple United Methodist Church, named after the figure known as one of the founding fathers of gospel music. And let us be grateful for the gift of music which we have given The most exciting thing about being a congregation member here at Tenley is that you're actually connected to a piece of history. Living, breathing history that still is alive today. The organ, the Messiah. The whole mystique about the building. You're coming to a place that we build as African Americans. In the balcony, a dollar was given by every single member to purchase a chair. There's members here who still remember their mothers and fathers putting up a dollar to purchase one of the chairs in the balcony. Charles Tinley was self-educated and known for his powerful preaching. His congregation became one of the largest Methodist churches in the United States in the 1920s, with nearly 10,000 members. In 1927, the church took the name Tinley Temple. You'll see a congregation who through the struggles and, and the adversities exemplified the best of United Methodist culture and did the best that they could with what they had. It's a place that if you want to have a connection to what United Methodism really is in the African American context, got to come to town. Reba Smith Poole is a lifelong member who is proud of the many generations of preachers, doctors, and leaders from Tindley Temple. We are known for three things, good music, good preaching, and good food. We have some of the best preachers you ever want to hear. But whatever you do, enjoy yourself. We lose so much of our history and so much of who we are. And our generations to come need to understand that this belongs to you. I heard a kid sing uh, the other day, um, By and By. He had no idea that By and By was a Tenley hymn. When I told the young man and I brought him in here, and the first thing he said was, wow, I walk by it every day, and I never knew it was here. And people who don't understand their history really can't respect it, but when you understand it, you respect it and you hold it a little bit closer to your heart. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.